Welcome to the Index Introduction for Death Guard in 10th edition 40K. Yep. This is your specialty here, Tycho. Ooh, this is yeah. one of your favorites, one of the Ooh. fan favorites. It's a big, beautiful army, all yep. full of nurgly goodness. Uh, Death Guard are the sons of Mortarian. They walk to battle with the, the markings of Nurgle all over them. They are rotten through and through. They are tough as nails, and they are coming to kick your butt. Yep. <laughs> and they're a little stinky. <laughs> they do they do smell a little something fierce, it's true. Yep. It's true, but you know what? That's okay, we love them anyway. Uh, and they're coming for hugs, and that's not gonna Ooh. change. Uh, Nurgle is good at hugs, uh, very, very good at hugs. The army and detachment rules for Nurgle are pretty awesome. You get to spread the sickness, which means that you get to infect objectives. Ooh. That means that when you take an objective, you hold it until someone actually takes it away. You can, you, know, you can walk away from it and it's still yours. On top of that, the aura ability of all Ooh. the Nurgle models in your army uh, will be to reduce the toughness. Oh. Round one within three inches, round two within six inches, and round oh. three, nine inches. Uh, and you can buff that to a foot sometimes, and even farther if you have a Hellbrute. Oh. Um, you'll be minusing one toughness from enemy models, which is super oh. powerful, especially in the skirmishes with smaller uh, mm -hmm. units like infantry. Against the big, huge toughnesses of like land raiders and things, we'll see how much it comes up. It might help a little but, bit. Uh, against other infantry, it makes uh, oh, no, yeah. it makes Death Guard have an incredible advantage uh, in the, the you know one unit on one unit power armor fights. You're gonna I come can out see on that happening for lot. sure. So where to begin? Where to begin? What, now, what stood up to you the most? What was the one thing that kind of screamed at you and was like, oh my god, look at this? Before I get there. I want to acknowledge something uh, about the good, the bad, and the ugly around this codex. There are some deep feelings uh, that, that some play styles and ways people have associated with, with uh, Death Guard have changed. And some mm. people are quite upset. And uh, I am mourning probably my favorite play style with oh, a no. super drone heavy list. Oh no, because, not the drones. Yeah, my, unfortunately my favorite unit has gone to legend. So uh -huh. I'm gonna have to learn some new play styles. And that's actually kind of fun. There's some really new interesting ways that Death Guard get to play. Uh, so instead of focusing on the past, we're gonna look to the future and, and find out what Death Guard has in store for you. And let's be honest, like with 10th edition with all the factions that we've seen so far, there is a lot of change. A lot of playstyles that we're used to have to change. Like I'm, I'm having to relearn Thousand Suns, for right. example, because we all the have to learn phase this game from the yeah, ground up. So it's a whole new edition. This is a journey for all of us, and we don't know how powerful things are in respect no. to each other. So, uh, despite there being a lot of hurt feelings and uh, upsetness, I think there's a lot of really cool combos that you can find. Pretty sure Mortarian and these Plague Burst Crawlers are just as terrifying as they've always been. Uh, there's definitely some changes around that. So still scary. we'll see how scary they come out to be. Mortarian okay. has is is as always a huge meaty beat stick of a character. He's yep. gonna smash things apart, but he's lost a few attacks. He's actually lost two inches off his movement, which is what really saddens me. It's but gonna be very difficult for this army to be as dynamic as it once was. One thing I did notice though is with a lot of units like Mortarian where they have that reduced movement, mm. because of the changes to how they function when they get damaged, you're not taking as much of a penalty as you would have previously, right? Sure. So I feel like to compensate for that, they just reduced your overall movement just a little bit, but now you don't lose it anymore. You're still probably gonna have to eat a full round of shooting more, Ooh. but we'll see. Mortarian can take it. I've seen Mortarian take worse. And he is tough as all Yeah. Get he maintains a five up feel no pain. Ooh. He's got a two up armor save now, which is actually a yes. massive change. And 12 toughness is full 12 toughness. Oh, that's, that's still tough. <laughs> yeah, he is tough as all get out. So Mortarian's gonna be able to survive to get there and he's gonna do mm -hmm. some serious damage once he does. Now the Prince with Wings even gained a step. He's up to oh. 11 inches of movement. Ooh. So that's that's a, a pleasant change, so I might have to find a brother for Yzultia. Anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Any combos, units, anything else that kind of really... What stands out to me in this index is you're going to have to find ways around your shortcomings. So mm. movement seems to be the big penalty that Death Guard are receiving for their increased toughness and uh, resiliency. Okay. And unfortunately, that means it's very difficult to get where you want to go. So. The 
humble rhino is going to be vital for okay. moving the units of Plague Marines with characters attached yep. to the front where they can dish out the damage that they can do. Now, Plague Marines can do it in all phases, but they really specialize in the melee phase. They can yes. really do a lot of stacking of bonuses with multiple characters in these units. Oh, no. You're going to find some Plague Marine units that are going to strike first, are going to be having Oof. lots of lethal and sustained hits, oh, no. that are going to be able to dish it out in serious fashion. So. While Death Guard have lost a step in resiliency, they have made up for it in the ability to kill enemies. So nice. it's going to be an interesting way to approach the game a little differently, moving away from standalone vehicles and more to combined arms approach. So Land Raiders full of Terminators, Rhinos full of Plague Marines. No? Uh, I think you're definitely going to see some. And let's be honest, Terminators you can still Deep Strike in too? You can. Now, yeah. i got to put out that I think that Deep Strike 4 um, Death Guard, in particular, is a little bit of a trap. Okay. Uh, without being able to blow holes in your enemy formation that they can't fill and force you back, you're going to be deep striking into your own deployment zone. Uh, Four movement on your Terminators, that's a death sentence. So, absolutely. I think it's a trap, but it's an option. <laughs> so, keep it in mind, and if you think that you're going to find the right holes to be able to scare your opponent by moving into their backfield with a ter little Terminator strike, yep. do it. But in terms of Don't mass, rely on it. yeah, in terms of mass uh, t uh, teleporting in Blight Lords or something, I fear you may get, yeah, stuck. <laughs> and I gotta ask, because we've got a nice big herd of them here. Yes. How are the Poxwalkers doing? Poxwalkers are great. They're still Actually, just as great? They're, they're even better. Oh no. <laughs> a lot of their fun shenanigans are now just built in. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, they've gone to a five up field no pain. Ooh. And they get their strength lore all the time. They eat their foes at all <gasps> times. Oh so no. The box walkers will be replenishing themselves on the corpses of your army. So watch out for that. And Typhus in Terminator armor can lead a big herd of 20 box walkers to battle. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun having them meandering up the battlefield at a stage. That seems like a very Typhus thing to do. A turn. <laughs> yeah, that's, that seems like a very Typhus thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Typhus has some fun rules with his destroyer hive too. I'll let you check Ooh. into that. But uh, yeah, no, that's going to be a definite combo. 20 pox walkers with Typhus is something you're going to see, I hope. A character that had a little bit of a weak start to his rules mm -hmm. career, the Lord of Virulence, uh, mm -hmm. now has an amazing rule where if you shoot at something mm -hmm. with a, a Death Guard unit that has the blast keyword, yep. and it's within line of sight of the Lord of Virulence, Ooh. plus one hit and no cover. So it's pretty amazing at being able to put out some serious damage from these from little boys. Fancy, oh. fancy Vapors crawlers with big mortars on them. Now, do now, they still have indirect fire? They still have indirect oh, fire. No. They're nice long range. They're, you definitely might see some uh, Plague Burst crawlers crawling around, pumping mm -hmm. shots from all over the map mm -hmm. into something in within sight of a Lord of Virulence. Now, the Plague Burst crawlers have received a bit of a, a step down in their weaponry in terms of the entropy cannons. Oh. Uh, entropy cannons have lost a foot of range, which oh. means that the traditional style of being able to just hang out in your deployment zone and be able to pump its full firepower into the foe uh, on a constant basis is kind of over. A little that 24 inch yep. range is not long enough to no, make that. No, not happen. at all. But they did gain something. Oh no, what did they get? They now move 10. Ooh. So, Plague Burst Crawlers are now they're, assault vehicles. They're Let's speedy go. little boys. <laughs> yes, so Mortarian and his Plague Burst Crawlers are going to be my assault wing now. This so is going to Is that your bodyguard for Mortarian That's my now? bodyguard for Mortarian. <laughs> three Plague Burst Crawlers and as many drones as I can muster. So, yeah, I think there's going to be an armored assault still in my future. It's just that my before my support tanks had to bring up the rear, now they're, now they're leading front. the charge. <laughs> I mean, that's what the dozers are for, right? Yeah, exactly. They got yeah. dozer blades. Yeah, a little dozer blades. It's, it's yeah. a happy day. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it's actually going to be a way of finding the units that you like in this index and finding new ways to bring them to the table and make your foes cry. I think there's going to be lots of interesting stuff in here. Uh, spawn got very interesting. They're going to be mm -hmm. uh, staying on the table fairly long, especially for how cheap they are. And uh, yeah, you still have some quick options. Uh, so I'd think that uh, drones, demon princes, Mortarian, and lots of you tanks. You've still got lots of choices There's, and lots of options. Yeah, you're, I'm still going to be speedy enough to get my point across as a Death Guard player. And, some and of these, still just be a little bit tougher than the rest of us out there. Tough, a little, just a little bit. And actually, yeah, pound for pound, a Plague Marine versus any other power armor unit 
wins. So that is what Death Guard continue to be able to do. Nice. And uh, it's gonna be awesome to see how far they can go, despite all of the salt <laughs> in this wonderful new future of 10th edition 40K. Uh, anything else you wanna know about from the Death Guard as no, I've talking about? I think that covers yeah. most of what we need. Oh, six Ooh. Blight Lords in a Land Raider? Terrifying. Good business, yeah. That's yeah. actually one thing that the Death Guard are lacking a little bit, is in dedicated um, weapons that are good against vehicles. Um, I think the best you're gonna find is a Predator, with its tough strength 14 big main Ooh, gun. Yeah. Uh, that's a standard Annihilator Predator can. Yep. Uh, and the Land Raider with its not quite God Hammer, Soul Shatter. Uh, the Land Raider yes. with its Soul Shatter last cannon yep. is another great choice. Uh, but other than that, it's precious few things that get into those strength categories that can get to some of the big models that we're going to be seeing. I mean, just throw more Terry at him. He'll just cut him in half. He'll do his best. All right. He'll do his best. Well, that is what I've got to say about Death Guard for now. I am super excited to see what, what I can do and where we can go and find new interesting ways to get this army into grips with the foe and blow them apart with Playburst Crawlers and hack them apart with Martarian and still have enough drones to make me happy. And, uh, oh boy. Until we see you next time in the grim dark of a far flung future. Play, play on. on.